Welcome back everybody, this is Jason Seacrest. We are going to have some fun. We are going to be moving on to our second challenge of the year. And anytime we do our challenges, we actually take a little bit more time to explain everything, especially for brand new beginners. And then we also try and do something a little bit more challenging, just to kind of see if we can push you through it in a little bit more controlled environment. So we're going to go nice and slow. So if you are brand new, we're going to go step by step. We're going to go point by point. We're going to have some fun doing this little duck character today. So first things first, let's go to File New. We are going to go 5 by 5. I am in inches. Right now I'm in CMYK. And then I'm going to be doing 300 PPI. And then pretty much everything else is going to be default. So I'm just going to click on Create. The main thing about this, if you are doing RGB, that's fine. Just try and keep it in a 5 by 5 format since our cartoon brushes are formatted for that size. All right, so under Window, you're going to notice that it says Workspace. I have my Essentials Classic, so most of the panels on the right-hand side, if you want to make sure that those are ready to go, I am on the Essentials Classic. Some things that you might need to add, you might need to add Pathfinder, and then as we go through it, we might add some things. And they might be arranged in a different order, and that's totally fine. So let's do another little housekeeping first. Now, under View, I personally like to hide my artboards. I just like a nice clean workspace and I think it looks cooler on the video. So you do not necessarily need to do that. I just like it. Doesn't hurt my eyeballs nearly as much. Now under preferences, let's just do a little housekeeping cleanup. So under preferences, let's just go through some things that I do like, especially since we are doing a challenge right now. Under general, most of these can be default. I do have scale strokes and effects turned off. I don't personally like that. Under selection, I personally have my anchors and my handles as big as they possibly can. I do think that helps out. And then I do have my enable rubber band turned on. Now under smart guides, let's just go over there real quick. My smart guides are gonna be turned on, but you are gonna notice that one, my color is really turned down. So usually the default is like a hot pink. And then I do have a lot of these turned off. So Smart Guides is awesome, but I don't think you're, we are going to need any of the spacings or the measurement labels or the aligning. Any of that stuff you can just turn off. You're going to have lines flashing all over the, the place. And usually that's just really, really distracting. So for right now, I think that looks pretty good. I am going to click on OK. And we are going to be ready to go and having some fun. So I am going to turn off to make sure that there is no fill and we just can have a nice black stroke. Again, let's just double check. I am, in fact, on my inking layer. It will yell at you pretty quickly if you are on the, the template. Now, we are going to be doing our tablet today. So let's just do a quick tear off. Let's just slap that right in front. We are going to be doing mostly the pencil tool. We're going to be doing the smooth. We might be using a little bit of the eraser, but we're going to go through this panel and a lot of the other challenges we go through our pen tool. And in this one, I think we wanted to do a little bit more with the uh, the tablet. So I've been getting a little bit more requests for that. So first things first, I want to click on the pencil. I personally like the smooth turned up pretty high. I don't like it when it's all the way to five. I think. If it's all the way up, you're actually going to lose a lot of your corners or your sharp corners. Next, I have many of these turned off. Like, I'm not going to need anything with a closed path. I don't personally like it keeping selected, and I don't need anything to fill in. This keep selected is going to bounce, and your lines are actually going to connect, or they'll edit. So that is the one that is going to frustrate you the most. So if you just notice that your lines are connecting or if the pencil is really, really frustrating, double click and then turn this guy off. And I think you'll have a, a lot better time. All right, so I am on my tablet now. We are going to just be tracing and what we're gonna be doing first is what we are looking for is just a happy medium on how far zoomed out you need to go. So my personal preference is to be a little bit more zoomed out so it feels a little bit more natural like a piece of paper. Some of the larger areas and they're getting a little bit too big for my hand. 
So I'm a righty. And then I have a pretty old tablet. This is from Christmas of 2007. Man, am I current. So this one is an Intuos, and I think you guys can get this for like 80 bucks. It is super cheap. If you guys are big spenders, then you are more than welcome to go out and get those Cintiqs. Uh, all right, so notice I have one path, two path. So I'm just gonna be on that black arrow. Notice I just selected them. New tool alert. So there is this join tool. So if I just come through and just trace along that path, it'll connect for me. So the other option is I can come in, white arrow, right click, and then I can just join. So that would be another way of just connecting those paths. So if you like separate paths, that is an option. We'll keep doing those. I'm sure we'll have some in the feed. Some of these and or if you're drawing and nothing is giving you a sharp corner like that, you can break it down. I'm going to zoom out. So notice we're moving on to that body. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Whenever we do these tablet tutorials, all I want to do is just say, just trace it, kids. This is a silly tutorial since I'm just tracing. Come on down. All right, good. So I'm going to zoom in on that toe. So notice that it did not give me a nice sharp edge. So let's just do a little bit of a cleanup. So a couple different things I can do. White arrow. I can just say, hey, I want that to go here. So if I go back to my anchor tool, I can actually sharpen that one. So let's just say we can do a couple different versions here. So if I have that path, I can do our smoothing. I can just come back to my handles and just make sure everything is where I would want them to go. And then as you're getting comfortable, what I would start doing is start speeding it up. How fast can you go? Again, spacebar is your hand. So my left hand is still hanging out in my normal spot. Thumb is hanging out right above that spacebar. That looks all right to me. Now, other little things, you can just grab anchors. I can just move them. I can come back in with my black arrow. Like, hey, I want to just scale things up. So you can adjust just by using the black and or your white arrows. I find that is much easier, especially if I think that the line itself is pretty clean. I'm just seeing if everything else is a shape. All of it's going to make sense. So as we apply our brushes, a lot of these are actually designed so the thick and the thin of the brushes are going to be on each one of these strokes. So that's why we have some that are long, some of them that are overlapping, especially let's say this head. I want that to all be the same stroke with our... Now as you are going through any of these tutorials, uh, this came up today in the comments, so if you guys are going through anything, definitely put in the comments, hey, I'm going through it. And then if you're struggling, definitely don't wait. Say, hey, I'm struggling with this, can you help? I'm, I'm usually on my YouTube app as much as possible so I can do some troubleshooting, especially if you guys are in fact going all the way through. So definitely don't wait, put it in there, hey, I'm struggling, and I'll do my very best to get in touch with you as fast as I can. So with that said, I'll see you guys on the next tutorial.